This is a tutorial of basic HTML tags and helping you design your first web page. You'll notice that I have a text editor open. On the Mac it's called Text Edit. If you're using a PC you can use Notepad. And I also have a browser open in the background. In this case I'm using Firefox, but this will allow me to test my page as I'm working on it. The first thing I want to do is start with the HTML tag, and the tags all go with the letters surrounded by angle brackets. You have an opening tag and a closing tag. The closing tag has the slash in front of it. And all the items on the HTML page are going to go between the opening and closing HTML tag. Then there are two sections, the head and the body. And I'm opening and closing both of those. On the head, the information about the page is placed. And in the body is the actual content that goes on the page. So one of the items that we put in the head is the title. And I'm going to title this page Cindy's Website because it's the home page where I'm going to say welcome. And I'm going to close the title tag so the browser knows that that's the end of the title. So let me save this file. And I'm going to put it in a web folder that I've already created ahead of time because it's important to be organized with your pages and your files that you're going to use as you're working on the files. It'll be particularly important as we start linking to other pages and uh, inserting graphics. Um, I've named the page index.html because that's what we name the home page of our sites. I'm going to save it. We don't want to append because we want it to have the HTML sec uh, extension on the end. And now I'm going to come over to the browser and I'm going to open the file in the web folder called index.html so I can see what it does in the browser. And you'll see that there's nothing else on the page except for the title, Cindy's Website Welcome, that we put in the title area of the head. Now I want to put some content in the body. I want to put a heading of the uh, largest size. And I'm going to say Welcome to Cindy's Website. Closing the H1 tag. Saving, just do a file, save, and because the browser's open, I can just come over here and refresh. And you can see that H1 level heading, Welcome to Cindy's Website, is included on the page now. So if I go back to my HTML, I can continue typing in text. I'm going to put a paragraph, just some content, close the paragraph, save it refresh it, and you can actually see the content change as you're working within the HTML page. You can add other things, like if you want to highlight uh, the words first as italic, you can make them have emphasis, which is the XHTML way to italicize something. And you can see that first is now italicized, and if you change your mind, it's very simple to go back and say, you know, I don't really want that to be italicized any longer. And save it and refresh. And you can continue adding content your page to your page in this manner until you completed the page.